Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use old plasticine to do some printmaking. Um, this plasticine is mixed colours and messy and was completely rock hard. Now earlier I just put it in the oven on a very, very low setting for about five minutes just to make it a little bit more malleable. It's cooled down a bit in the meantime. So now what I need to do is to, I've got two things that are the same width, the two spatulas, and they've got wooden handles which are the same depth. And I'm going to get a piece of um, baking paper to put over the top so that I don't get plasticine all over my cooking things. And I'm going to use my roller and I'm going to roll it flat. And when I've done that, I'll get back to you. So using a roller like this and the two widths of wood either side means that you can roll the plasticine into a nice flat slab. And I'm going to peel this off. And I've got my slab there. And here I've got some, some shells, some cockle shells that I collected before. And I'm just going to Gently press them in. You don't want it too pressed because it won't pick up textures that are too deep anyway. Um, did have one. This one's got some nice, not this monster barnacle, but these little ones make a nice impression in the plasticine. I've got, I've got a funny little muscle, not a muscle, a cockle. There we go. Another little cockle. These I've collected from the beach. I've got a tiny, tiny, beautiful little one there. I'm just going to print that repeatedly. The other way you could do this is to just sort of roll sausages of the plasticine up and then roll it out and try and keep some of the textures that you've created. So, see that? Anything else? Oh yes, it's another cockle. They're black where I am. Quite often I think it's because there's lots of coal and they must somehow absorb it and use it in their shells. I'm going to take this to my studio now, um, next door, and show you how to print it. So, here I have a sheet of glass, um, which is an old shelf from a fridge, so it's got nice, smooth, sandblasted edges, so it doesn't cut you. You could borrow your own fridge shelf, because you're not going to damage it, you're just going to put some paint on it and wash it off. I've got my plasticine block here. I've got a roller. And I've got some household paint, which is basically an, a thick acrylic paint. I'm going to roll it. Um, so I've got a nice layer of ink and then I'll roll it on the plasticine and print it. So I'm just putting some paint on the glass now. And I've got my roller on it. And then I'm going to put it onto this plasticine printing plate and see what we get. There we go. And I've just got some little strips of paper here, so I'll just put a strip on and see what happens. Press it in like that. And then that's what texture I get from doing that. Now you could roll it flat and just take a pencil and draw a face in it or draw whatever you like in it and then print that as well. 
but that's an idea for you. Um, now I can wash this plasticine so it can be used again and I'll wash the shelf from the fridge and the roller and everything will be back to normal again. Have some fun doing some plasticine printing.